Hey guys, it's Car Mater Tater here with another troubleshooting video on the old 2011 Nissan Altima sedan. Before we begin, uh, let me answer some questions in the comments. Am I going to describe to you what part of the engine you're looking at? I am not. Will I zoom into an unrecognizable blurry close-up? How's this? Uh, do I have expensive equipment you're never going to buy to fix this exact problem? Um, yeah, most definitely. All right, let's get started. Now, as you can clearly see, this particular model didn't come with the drivetrain transmission coil or the rotor base fly wing crank wings. But if you leak underneath the manifold, you see it's as easy as removing the steering governor column located somewhere in this area and releasing the cam mushroom exactly two parsecs to the starboard side. So, you know. Well, we start with the basics. Um, now I'm going to attempt a, uh, and if you guys don't have a bicuspid shifting mount, you can probably get one at Auto Chalet. Um, anywhere between, I don't know, $6 for a decent one and about, oh, I don't know, 40,631 euros for a slightly better one. So I'm going to chase a leak all the way from the Ambicor to the solder flux regurgitator. It goes from here and all the way around to the exhaust and then back to the cooling boinkle and inside your air conditioning filter timing chain. Okay, so you're going to want to do this yourself. Ain't no reason some mechanics got to get in there and try to switch out your weaving control monitor with something like a dorsal cylinder linkage. I mean, if you've got the money for that, then you're a better man than me. <laughs> and uh, here's the serial number for the restriction bag and for the aperture oil monitor and the racially offensive joint gearbox. Um, you're also gonna need a Phillips style auger, a 10 pound Lindbergh torque winch, and a thyroid counter. All right, now we can get started. Yeah, it's pretty easy. You just pull out this 37 millimeter screw. You put in the restriction bag. You pull the plug waffle. And then you insert the PlayStation controller. Actually, this is an Xbox, but it'll work just as well. Oh, and uh, don't forget the drag boots. Those go in there and well. And then you uh, cover the whole thing with the evaporating fan cell. And that's about it. Um, remember, if you're integrating a departure spoiler, then spoiler, it's going to depart. <laughs> it's only going to lessen your mileage and abbreviate your emissions and retrofit your memory settings from your defroster, extender, and tender pretender. So I would just leave that. But, um, well, I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, sign up for our giveaways at carmaterpotato.com. And remember... Don't say shoot, I'm in trouble. Just get to troubleshooting.